Hey everyone, welcome back to Do It Yourself Telecom. So interesting little novelty I thought we could present today. I have um, my two uh, linemen's test sets here. This is the very first one I started with. Um, and then on loan to me from my father is a very old lineman's test set. Uh, we think from probably the mid 1950s. Uh, not exactly sure on the manufacturer date there. And it, what I find interesting is what they all still do the same, but yet some of the things that have kind of changed or been added on to. So it is very basic form. What these were really for was to do a handful of things. You had some little alligator clips that you use to clip on to your tip and ring terminals of a phone line. That could either be at the telephone pole, side of a building, inside wiring. And so they were using alligator clips, right? And then, you know, it's a phone, so you've got your, you know, your, your earpiece and your mouthpiece, like a standard phone, and then the dialing mechanism, so you could make test phone calls. Now, of course, back when this was made, there was no such thing as touch tone. So, you know, rotary dial or pulse dial was pretty much all they had back then, okay? So it took a while to dial 10-digit phone numbers. And then uh, there is two uh, modes. So when you're, when you're clipped on, you've got two modes. You can either be in monitor mode, which means that when you clip onto the lines, you can hear what's going on the line. And uh, of course, you know, and, but not actually be a part of the, the conversation. It's like you're muted. Um, but then if you go into the, the talk position, then that actually either, if the line is idle, it draws dial tone, or if there's a conversation in progress, it puts you in that conversation if you wanted to be for some reason. All right, and this guy was made by Western Electric, which was, I think, one of the big suppliers uh, not only then, but for a long time, uh, during the AT&T reign, Western Electric was kind of one of the big suppliers of telco equipment. Okay, so that's that's old school, and that's the basics, you know, monitor, talk, dial, check for dial tone. All right, and then this was manufactured probably in the early 80s, I'm not sure exactly. I acquired this uh, in uh, 1990 was when I got this. This was actually my very first test set. But what's interesting is, other than just a couple of things, it pretty much does the same things. Um, you've got alligator clips. Um, they're a little bit different though now. So, and this is actually kind of the way they've been ever since, is what they are is, is they're kind of like two opposing U-shaped tips. And what they do is they're designed to clip onto like, like 66 blades, like a 66 block. And so, um, but they've also got like these little, uh, what they call pancake teeth in there that are designed to, to kind of like bite onto a wire. There's like little sharp little teeth inside there that you clip onto a wire and it and it, it reaches through the little plastic coating and touches the bare metal. So, um, but but again, it's, you know, it's this, it's kind of the same thing. You, you've got your, you know, your, your earpiece and your mouthpiece. You've got your um, talk and monitor, which does the same thing. Uh, there's a few extra little add-ons here. So for instance, now there's a switch that controls either tone or pulse dial. So that rotary dial, which I just showed you a second ago, that's also known as pulse dial. So you could emulate either one depending on uh, which switch you chose. And then you've got the uh, the keypad uh, in and out. You turn it on or off. And then there's these little uh, polarity checkers. So I've got a little, um, little uh, ATA over here to the side that I've got some dial tone on. I'll show you what that is. So if I connect my tip and my ring, so let's pretend that was a phone line, this little banjo clip here. All right, and I wanted to see whether I've got the positive and the negative correct, or, or the neutral and the negative correct. I push the little uh, polarity checker button right there, and then a light comes on if I'm correct. Okay, so it's got the little green light, so I'm good. Now if I were to flip those around and deliberately put them in the wrong places, put the tip on the ring and the ring on the tip, then, um, then when I do it that way, then I get a red light, okay? So essentially, I haven't changed that much in functionality going, you know, from a span of like, what, you know, 30 years. Um, but now, this is my latest test set. And this is not the only three, or this, these two are not the only two I ever owned. There was actually probably about three or four other test sets between this one and this one. This one survived all that time, which kind of tells you something. Um, but this is a fluke. Uh, what is it? Uh, the TS25D. Um, I don't have to draw tile tone as much as I used to, so it's kind of interesting. Uh, what I like about it though is it's got the small form factor, and you know, 
these first two test sets that I showed you, the old one and this one, neither one of these is speakerphone. So in other words, if you're going to listen, you have to hold it up to your ear to listen. But they had speaker phones came out probably in the, I don't know, I guess the 1990s, and they were really big, and that was one of the problems. But now this one's actually got speaker phone in a small form factor. So I can hit the speaker, and I got the dial tone like that. Speaker phone's really handy when you have to do a lot of work with dial tone, and you need to you need to be able to set the phone down and just listen to a line without having to hold it up to your ear the whole time. It's also got like a little uh, headset jack too, which is pretty cool. So, and this is kind of a multi-function machine too. Like one of the things it does is it tells you like whether there's data on the line. It also tells you the voltage of the line. Uh, there's a couple other things it does. I haven't really spent a lot of time getting into all the nitty gritty on this one. But, uh, but at its core, it's still doing the same thing. It's got a couple alligator clips. You can either do talk, you know, and check for dial tone or, or join the conversation, or you can do monitor. Um, mouthpiece and uh, earpiece. Um, this has just got a few more digital things, and there's certainly some that are probably a lot more complex than that one. But I just thought that was kind of interesting to look at, you know, how things have have changed, and, but yet still stayed the same over a period of um, of uh, 60 years. So now I don't know that this is necessarily like the oldest. I don't think they were that much more rudimentary than this one, um, but that. That, that was probably the beginning of the era right there of, of linemen's test sets or butt sets as they're sometimes called. Um, and then this is a good representation of, of, of where we are today. Uh, got that in 2018. Got that in 2018. All right. Well, thanks for uh, indulging me. Hope you found that interesting. See you next time.